Well, South Bend based Taco Brace says 17 NFL teams and more than 65 NCAA teams are already using its unique ankle brace. And the startup is taking another major step forward, recently announcing a 1.2 million round of seed funding. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thank you, Gary. Takeo Brace says its ankle brace isn't just for athletes, but for anyone who wants an alternative to the traditional walking boot after an injury. About 14,000 patients are already using the brace, and that number is growing. Takeo Brace co-founder and chief executive officer Gavin Furlick says revenue this year has jumped 50% compared to 2020, and he joins me now to tell us more. Hi, Gavin. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you so much for having us. Okay, oh, Takeo Brace has such a great backstory, and it involves an Indiana treasure, Notre Dame football. So tell us how Takeo Brace got its start. Absolutely. So uh, Mike Bean, one of our co-founders and an athletic trainer for the University of Notre Dame football team, uh, had a tough time with, with the existing solutions, uh, namely internal ankle braces, uh, when trying to serve the Notre Dame football team. Um, they didn't provide the stability that he really needed, uh, but also they were difficult to fit inside the shoe. Um, and, and not the most uh, efficient uh, brace to put on uh, for in-game injuries. So uh, he had an idea, why not brace the outside of the shoe, uh, which would actually be more stable because you stop the shoe from turning uh, and really provide stabilization for the ankle and hind foot. So uh, he really invented something, uh, something phenomenal, um, just a brace that fits outside the shoe. And we mentioned that this is an alternative to a walking boot, which we all see everywhere so common. So explain how your brace is different than the standard walking boot. It's a great question. So, you know, first and foremost, uh, we provide, uh, you know, similar stability to a walking boot, right? A walking boot does a decent job providing stability. However, a walking boot is going to create a limb length discrepancy, uh, which often causes pain in the knee, the back or the hip. Um, and a walking boot is, is heavy, it's cumbersome, and it's just difficult to live your normal life. So if you're uh, passionate about hiking or, or are passionate about working with animals or passionate about uh, going to the grocery store, right? Going shopping. Uh, it's really difficult to live your life and, and do what you want to do in a walking boot because it is very limiting. Uh, so Takeo allows you to wear your own shoe, uh, which doesn't create any sort of limb length discrepancy. Uh, and you can comfortably do the things that you love in your own shoe um, without the adverse side effects of the walking boot. So your company recently raised $1.2 million in seed round financing. Uh, some of those investors included Elevate Ventures, Irish Angels, Pit Road Fund, all of those here in Indiana. Talk about the importance of that funding, especially as your company is in growth mode and uh, looking to update the brace. Certainly, uh, funding very important, right? We're, we're growing, uh, which means increased demand on uh, you know our team's time. Um, but we've been able to expand our team already with that funding. We're investing more heavily in marketing. Um, and it'll just be really exciting to make an impact on more and more patients. You know, I think over 13,000 patients have worn Takeo successfully, um, but that's what really gives us joy and what really drives us as a team is uh, just helping uh, each individual patient to be able to live their lives while they're uh, you know, recovering from ankle injury. So ultimately, that's what the funding is going to allow us to do is, is to reach more and more patients and to impact more and more lives. And you mentioned uh, more patients. And of course, this was inspired by athletes, but we've talked about how it's not just for athletes. Uh, talk just a little bit about the spectrum of patients that you're seeing using your brace. Absolutely. So this goes from anywhere from supporting 350 pound linemen uh, to supporting, uh, you know, patients who just want to uh, get around and, and live their everyday life. Uh, one of our favorite stories is a, a 92 year old patient that ruptured his Achilles tendon and uh, doctor put him in a walking boot because that's the, the typical standard of care. Now, um, it took that patient uh, over 90 minutes just to put the brace on. I'm sorry, just to put the walking boot on, um, you know, let alone uh, had a real difficult time just getting around his house, right? Getting to his kitchen, uh, doing the things you would normally do. Uh, so with Takeo, the very first day he put it on, he was able to go out to dinner with his friends. Um, so that's just a great example of, you know, how a walking boot can limit uh, someone, uh, a patient in, in trying to live their normal life. Uh, but Takeo can essentially give someone their life back, right? And allow them to do the things they love while recovering from injury. And just a few seconds left, but talk a little bit about the traction you have in the market. Uh, college and professional teams are using your brace already. 
Yep, absolutely. Yeah, 17 NFL teams, over 65 NCAA teams. Um, but more importantly, is just the everyday patients, right? And so uh, over 13,000 patients so far have been impacted by TACO. And uh, we've got a long way to go, right? It, it's uh, We're going to make TACO the standard of care for ankle and hind foot injuries. And uh, we want to impact a lot more patients in the process. All right, Gavin. Well, congratulations on the recent funding. And thanks for being on the show today. Thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it. And Gary, back to you.